In this video, let's understand the gap utility in Delvin CSS. The gap utility is an incredibly useful tool for creating space between flex items, ensuring they don't appear cluttered or touch each other. When you have multiple elements in a flex container, they sometimes end up too close together, which might not look great depending on your design. Adding a gap creates equal spacing between those items, making your layout clean, organized and visually appealing. The gap property works both with flexbox and grid layouts, allowing you to control the space between the items both horizontally and vertically. In this video, we will focus on flexbox. When we get to the grid section later in the course, I'll explain how the gap works there as well. But it's pretty straightforward, you will see it in a minute. So here are the main classes that you can use. We have gap with a number and then we have gap x and gap y. So gap, you can choose from a variety of gap sizes ranging from no gap that is gap 0 to a large gap that is gap 96 depending on your layout needs. It controls the spacing between flex items both horizontally and vertically. No matter how many rows or columns you have, all items will have equal spacing. Then we have gap x and gap y. These classes allow you to control horizontal and vertical gaps independently. If you want gaps only horizontally, you can use gap x, which creates space between columns but not rows. On the other hand, if you need only vertical spacing, then you can use gap y, which creates space between rows but not columns. Let's use all these utilities in an example. So here I have a body with a flex container and inside flex container I have all these child elements. At the moment they touch each other. There is no clear differentiation on the element. Of course now I have given different colors for you to understand. But generally if there are different elements there, there is no clear beginning point or ending point to these elements inside. So now let's add gap. And as you can see, we have the numbers given here, 0 to 96. And then we have gap X and gap Y values as well. So I'll use gap 4 and save it. And now you can see just by adding gap, the layout looks very clean and organized, adding gaps between these child items, both horizontally and vertically. So if you want to have gap only between the columns, means only horizontally then you can add gap x4 and save it now you have gap only between the columns and not horizontally same way if you add gap y then you have spacing only vertically means between the rows but not the columns in the next video we will cover the concept of justify content see you there